Hi there. So you were wondering how you can have multiple outputs of contact within the same instance and how you can play it from several instrument tracks. So that's really easy to do. First, you just grab the contact AU plugin, in my case, because I'm on Apple, but you can also do it with VST2 and VST3, and you drag it into your song arrangement here. Once it opens up, you click on this little output tab here, and then you just activate as many outputs as you need. And now I just choose uh, two different sounds that I want. Maybe I'm going for Analog Dreams here and Ethereal Earth. And then I press on this I symbol here in contact. Now I can say, okay, I want the first output one and two for Analog Dreams. For Ethereal Earth, I want to have three and four. And then we also have to assign MIDI channels because if it's standing on Omni as it is right now, then I'm playing both of these instruments at the same time, as you can see here in the output meter. But I don't want to play them at the same time, I want to play them on different instrument tracks. So the first instrument is going to channel 1 from the host, obviously, and the second one is going to channel 2. So now that's taken care of, let me just go ahead and name this one, which is currently on channel 1, the Analog Dreams. Because this track is currently uh, linked to the channel, I'm also renaming the mixer channel at the same time, which is kind of useful. And now I just create a new instrument track. I just did that from a hotkey, but you can also do right click and instrument track if you're so inclined. Choose contact again, the same instance of contact. And now we want to go for the second channel. I'm going to call this one Ethereal Dreams. Now that's also being renamed down here. And here we choose channel 2. So now I'm playing the Ethereal Dreams on this instrument track and I'm playing the Analog Dreams on this instrument track, as you can see here in the output meter but it's all coming from the same instance of contact. Now, of course, I can also go ahead and apply effects that are only relevant to one of the layers, like so. And all the other things that you can traditionally do with a multi-output setup. So I hope that helps.